Hi, this is Angela from SpinachTiger.com. Today we are going to roast a turkey using cheesecloth. A no-based method comes out perfect every time and I'm going to show you how to do it. Are you ready guys? Because I've got some helpers today. This is Ari. Say hi Ari. And Gabriella. Okay, so the first thing we have is an 11 pound turkey. We have some sage, celery, onion, and orange. Then we have a quart of homemade turkey stock that I made yesterday. If you don't have turkey stock, then you can go ahead and you can use a store-bought chicken broth. And then what I'd like you to do is melt a stick of butter into that, cool it off, and then we're gonna pour that over the turkey with the cheesecloth. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of this beautiful bird and we're gonna put our sage, our sage leaves that Gabriella picked off and has ready to go. So I'm going to put those under and inside the skin. It's going to give it a nice kind of a pretty, it's it's pretty underneath and it's going to give it a nice sagey taste. And this is fresh sage out of my garden. If you don't have fresh sage, I, I recommend not, not using the crushed for this method. You could just skip it or, you know, go ahead and get some fresh sage. I think it really adds to the turkey flavor. Um, we're going to take my hands ready. We're going to take salt and pepper. I have already salted and put pepper on the inside of the turkey. This is how I brine my turkey. I do a dry brine. It's the easiest thing in the world. I just take some salt, about two tablespoons full, pat my turkey down. Um, you know, it's washed, it's dry. We put the salt all over it and then we wrap it in plastic and we refrigerate it. And this is a fully thawed turkey refrigerated for about three days. You can do two days, you can do one day, but three days really gets the salt down into the breast and then you have a really That's tender, moist, and moist. moist breast. Moist breast. Moist breast, That's right. Now, Ari, right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stuff that orange and celery into the turkey. Can you get it in there? Yes. Okay, go ahead and get that in there. Get that in there. Okay. Celery. Celery. Okay, you can put a few more sages in there. Sage leaves. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. Mm, that smells sage leaves. Good. Sage leaves. Get the carrot and celery. We already have an onion in there because we had started this already. Everything goes in. I don't put stuffing inside because we do that separately. Hey, this smells good. This smells really good. Okay. okay, now the next thing that we are gonna do is we are gonna transfer this beautiful turkey into a roasting pan. I have already preheated my oven to 425 degrees. We're gonna do that for 45 minutes and then I'm gonna reduce down to 350. We're going to tuck the wings, tuck the wings because that part could burn up a little bit. And now I have taken my grocery store cheesecloth that I bought and I'm going to start to turn this turkey into a mummy. You want to help tuck that in? Yeah, mummy. A mummy. Look at Why that. Why are you tucking it into a mummy? I make it like a mummy because this is going to this is going to brown up super crisp and we're going to take this off like a mold and underneath we're going to have the most golden beautiful turkey. Here is my stock and I'm going to start to pour and I want to soak. I want to soak this. I want to make sure it's really soaked good. I have seen other cheesecloth methods where they soak the cheesecloth first. I have found that really difficult to then take that wet cheesecloth and put it over um, the turkey. I just think putting it on dry, I have it all nice and neat. I have it exactly the way that I want to. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven again at 425 for 45 minutes. It smells good. It smells good already because that stock smells good. I had cooled it uh, slightly so it's not steaming hot. Uh, okay, we're gonna now go wash our hands. We're gonna come back um, later and show you what happens with the unveiling of the turkey. Okay, we're back. It's two and a half hours later and we didn't let the turkey rest because we were anxious to do the video, but I would say let it rest for 30 minutes. 
then the cheesecloth will pull off pretty easily. We were a little anxious, so we did lose a little bit of the skin, but you can see how beautiful that is. And then somebody was hungry, and when we were getting ready for the shoot, what did you do? I ate the turkey. You ate the turkey, but that's okay, because it was pretty delicious. So it's a nice crispy skin. It's all done. It's ready to carve. You can get the complete recipe and pictures from other turkeys that we basted with the cheesecloth where I did let it sit on properly. And you can see that at spinachtiger.com.